Good afternoon, everybody. Your no name cook coming. Excuse me, your no nothing cook coming to you from the no nothing kitchen today or yesterday. I pulled out from one of the freezers a pound of I guess you call this hamburger ground beef, and I didn't know what I was going to make today. I uh, figure either maybe a bolognese sauce or ground hamburg ground beef um, roadkill and I couldn't make up my mind so I figured this I'm gonna let you decide which I should make so by raising hands we'll start with the bolognese sauce who here wants to see me make a bolognese sauce we have one two three four five 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 okay five how about the uh ground hamburg put your hands down now you can't vote twice only one vote now for the ground hamburg one two three uh oh four five oh don't tell me you got a choice i gotta make up the decision five let me see five 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 I guess it's up to me <clears throat> well, the surprise will be when I come back after these messages okay this part of the show is brought to you by diced onion the best way I figure out to dice an onion is leave the uh, root side in cut it in half and then uh, score cut it this way not score I'm sorry slice it through this way and then this way and you get nice little um, dice jobs the garlic after it's been uh, growing a while sitting a while or you buy it from the store you'll always have the, um, the stem coming through I like to cut it in half smash it this way the, the covering comes right off the coat the jacket whatever you want to call it I cut it in half and I take out the green part because that's just a little bitter and then you can um, dice that this way this way this way and our next advertisement this portion of the show is brought to you by three tablespoons of fresh parsley okay we're back in here I put one pound of hamburg I added a half a onion um, I sliced the half onion diced it up two cloves of garlic I took out the uh, middle stem threw it away the green um, a quarter cup of flour um, let's see two tablespoons of breadcrumbs A squeeze of yellow mustard, a shake of black, well, okay, black pepper, two teaspoons of Leah Perrin's original Worcestershire sauce, and one egg slightly beaten. Do we know what we got yet? <laughs> okay, and uh, I have it all in here. I'm going to mix it together now. And we'll be back after these messages. This part of the program will be sponsored by Red Roasting Potatoes and Dried Mushrooms, the uh, Sector Champion, <laughs> Sector Champion, Fresh from the Orient, and Diced Onion. And having a sharp knife is beneficial, as you can tell. But we're not a chef. We're just a no nothing cook here. As you see, no time at all to uh, dice an onion. Thank you for this sponsorship. Here we have red roasting potatoes. I sprinkled them with margarine, cilantro because I ran out of parsley, rosemary. Sprinkled, just sprinkled some over it. Uh, a couple of tabs of butter, salt, and I grate it 
Parmigiano Reggiano over it. I'm going to add a little olive oil, cover them, put them in the oven at 400 degrees till the probably a half hour. So I don't know. I'll let you know. Take it off, brown it, and then get them out of there. Back to our show now after those advertisements. If you haven't figured out what we were making after the advertisements, we are going with the ground burgers. Hot, not brown burgers, roadkill, ground beef. We're going to make a gravy with them. We're going to cook these on, on a frying pan. I'm going to just coat the frying pan with some, um, 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 what's that called? Um, vegetable oil. Uh, fry them up about four minutes each side. Take them off. We'll make a gravy. We'll show you the gravy. And we'll roasting potatoes and some uh, vegetable. Oh, yeah. You gotta have a vegetable. And um, we'll uh, go from there. One way to test this is I put a piece of onion. You can hear the sizzle. It's ready. And we're gonna add each hamburg two at a time since this is a small pan we will, we will fry them up flip them fry them up I will put them in a roasting pan for our preparation we'll be back the four burgers placed in here now we're going to make the gravy for them we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter I'm going to melt it down and we're going to add the mushrooms and the onions and we're going to saute these them for a little bit so they're nice and absorb the butter and they got uh, translucent the mushrooms absorb the butter well oh, that smells good a little salt and pepper at this time which um, I gotta go and get so we'll take a we'll go to another advertisement for them and we'll be back to show you where we're headed with this gravy Okay, now I had to turn the heat down on this. This is a cast iron. It gets hot. So I didn't want to cook it too quick. See that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little red wine vinegar to this to deglaze it. And I tell you, I got red wine vinegar. If anybody needs red wine vinegar, get in touch with me. I hope I didn't add too much. That's probably a good point. Thank God that wasn't a disaster. Mm. Okay. That burned off a little good. Deglaze the uh, bottom. Then we're going to add our gravy mix, mix here. And we'll be good to go. We have the gravy mix. And we're going to get that to, in fact, we're going to lower the heat down on it again to simmer because it's already starting to boil. In fact, we're going to add a little bit more. We're going to add, this was probably two cups now. But, uh, what we're going to do before we add this, we'll let it, we'll let it um, simmer a little bit. But we're going to need more gravy because there's a lot of burger in there. And that's the gravy. This is going to um, simmer. And I'm going to add, well, once it starts boiling, as you can see, it starts boiling now. I'm going to add the other cup. I'll let it simmer for around 10 or 15 minutes. Pour it in here, pour it in there. I'll cover this, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees with the potatoes. And, um, and we should have. 
I don't know, ground roadkill people call it. I think my mother called it Swedish meatballs, um, hot hamburgers, whatever you want to call it. Just enjoy it. I want to thicken because it's going to thicken up anyways. Okay, we'll uh, we'll let this thicken up and then we will be back for the next fuel. Okay, the gravy is done. We're going to pour it over the meat. Oh boy, does that look good or what? And then we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and I'm going to put it in the oven with the potatoes for about 20 to 30 minutes, I'll let you know. And, um, and we're going to mm, delicious. Remember, always put a hand there or something over your hand. You'll burn it. Cover this with aluminum foil. It's going in the oven, and we'll be back. The finished product: steamed peas with butter. Roasted potatoes with the seasonings I said, and that roadkill. We are going to munch now and tell you how it all turned out later. That was absolutely delicious. Two hamburgers, about half a pound of meat was like, could have just went with one, but it was good. As I sit here, Telling you, I don't even know how much to say about it. Um, I kind of explained everything before. I wouldn't change anything that I did. So I want to thank you all for viewing and your support. And I would also like to thank my uh, commercial support that I have from my sponsor. That's it, my sponsor support. Without them, nothing would be. Uh, uh, possible and I hope you like this video and I hope you enjoyed the meal as much as we did and we will see you next time I want to thank you to know nothing cook appreciates all your views